as the Desmond deluge continued long into the night, the area affected widened dramatically by daylight. In Carlisle this morning, where a major house-by-house -house rescue operation was in progress for much of the day. Elderly people, particularly at risk in houses without power, getting colder and wetter by the hour. I didn't think I'd be bothered with it, really. It's only started. I looked out this morning, there was no flooding at all. Then I, sitting in the house, I saw the water coming up under the tiles, you know. It's quite frightening. The army has been called in here to help an operation in a city already flooded so many times before. This is Emont Bridge, southeast of Carlisle, and one of the most extensively flooded communities of all. Our touching faith in technology cruelly exposed again. No, you can't drive these through three feet of water. Mountain rescue teams gingerly approaching people trapped. We watched as Sidney Hassel was taken to safety. There was six foot of water and a smell of gas. He said he'd never been so terrified in his life. And it's coming up the staircase. Yeah. Uh, and this morning, because some of the gas rising up. So I rang the emergency services up and he got me out straight away. Ever seen anything like this in never, never in my life, never in my life. And this is totally, uh, most, totally most, different. Most scary thing you can ever wish for. Others came out on piggybacks, smiling through it all, though she was keen for someone else also trapped to get to higher ground. Getting to those stranded is not straightforward. It came in uh, just round the front and it just gradually, within the hours, uh, just started to raise. And then within 20 minutes, it was just pouring down, down this way and through. Uh, we stayed until about uh, 11 o'clock uh, last night and it was about an inch away from actually coming in. And then we actually decided to, to leave. Across Cumbria, roads washed away, pulverised by the relentless rains. Bridges out buildings all but submerged and these coast guard images of people being rescued from a flooded rooftop indicate the power of the storm desmond appleby this morning neil dawson's place here flooded out he'd been in just three weeks and hasn't had time for insurance he can't work that's across the river can't get to the bridge and everywhere local areas are flooded so there's no, there's no way of me getting there at the minute. And in Appleby, the story you get across Cumbria, towns and villages where they'll say they've had serious floods in the last 20 years, they've had what they were told were appropriate flood defences put in, and yet again, this. The rector in Appleby with the familiar lesson. We thought we had everything in place, we were wrong did all the topographical surveys, we worked all the measurements out, built a flood, flood bund last year and the year before, installed pumps this year, nearly finished paying for it, but unfortunately I'm told there is a foot of water in church this morning. Keswick last night, where new flood defences were good, but not good enough, overtopped by the torrent of the river. Today there, the dismal stinking clean-up and the weeks of paperwork begin. We were pretty sad because, you know, it happens at, like, because we live here, the water always comes in. It's happened at least every five years for the past 15 years. New flood defences here three years ago after the 2009 inundation. Yes, they worked up to a point, but they didn't work well enough. Every time it happens, those in power to build flood defences lament it is a historic flood, a record and it could have been worse. And so the pattern of failure goes on here again and again and again. Tonight in Carlisle, the patient search and rescue plan goes on. The River Eden, a vast open swathe of water right through the city centre.